Zoya, Michael. we lived through what some might call a tepid natural disaster this morning. We did. We woke up in a panic at about 4.45 in the morning, not knowing which way to go. Yes. Uh, <laughs> There was a there was an earthquake this morning. Yes. And um, Mike, <laughs> every time there is an earthquake, yes. Mike is like, oh, 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 and then he like throws his body. <laughs> come on, come like, on, onto mine. <laughs> Dude, you're not. Listen. I am treading lightly today. Uh, I think that. Okay, I'll tread lightly. Okay. It was fucking hilarious. I'm treading lightly. And I wanted to say that what I did was less a spastic act (laughs) of terror and more a heroic act. You did a great job. Of fearlessness. My hero. Yes. Me. I'm Popeye in this. I'm like if Popeye Popeye and and Pluto fucked a little bit. Sailor man. Ham ham. And I, I just drank one of these, so I feel like my forearms could flip a tugboat. Um, but you made it sound like I was nervous and panicked. Um, there's no other way to be. But then I woke up because I had a lady issue. Yes. And I was not happy. Yeah. And I literally like got up, went to the bathroom, went to the living room, and then I was like... I just want to be snuggled. And like I came back in bed and I was like, will you snuggle me? And you were like, I guess I'll run back into the arms of the person that shielded me from the earthquake. My hero. My dad called me this morning, or I called my dad. Mm -hmm. Let's get that right. I called my dad and he was talking to me about the earthquake. He said, did you have one yesterday or today? I said it was this morning. And he goes, his whole question was, mm-hmm. was it loud and were things shaking around? Mm-hmm. And I said, um, I answered only the second part. Mm-hmm. And I said, yeah, yes, things shook around. It was an earthquake. Yeah. And then he was like, all right, Mike, <laughs> no need for the attitude. But I can't help myself sometimes right and i think that's why you have a son like me yes to keep you on your toes keep you sharp in Mm -hmm. your old age Mm -hmm. and that's my gift that's fair zoe mike are you how'd you feel this morning did you feel like um did you feel like if it was worse my arm would have protected you from almost certain dangers yes i think it would have but it was very funny like at first before i realized what was happening with my body um it was funny like i kind of like giggled about it because there's never that's never a fun way to wake up right Mm -hmm. and happens all too often it's just like i started to like giggle to myself and then i was like fuck and then had to get up yeah well and i was so cozy before the rumble tumble started of sometimes we don't if if there are people out there who have never been in an earthquake before i know when we were east coast people oh my God. we had never felt that before no it feels kind of like a big old truck is driving by your house you know when the garbage truck pulls by your house and you feel a little bit of a rumbly tumbly or if you're Uncle Greg comes over, and he has the Ford F-152 Ram with a double Henny ear. Hump, hump. It's like Greg is <laughs> racing the garbage truck down the street. And instead of driving, they're jumping, and their cars are jumping on the ground. And that's what it feels like to be in an earthquake situation. Yeah. I mean, you're not far off. Longest earthquake I was ever in. I'm sure if you go back in the archives, and by that I mean previous episodes of this podcast, me and Ron Funches and several other comedians were in the Hollywood Improv, and Ron Funches was on stage, and that's when I um, experienced the longest earthquake. 
mm-hmm. than I had ever experienced before. What's funny is that you were on a hike the day before yes. with someone. And I was packing our old place. Yes. And that was the longest earthquake. And that was on the 4th of July, mm. 20, 2019. Yeah. And, oh, tw- 2019? Yeah, something yes, like that. Because that was pretty recent. Mm-hmm. Ari. I was with Ari. And that, I was like so nervous and I was up on a ladder and I was trying to like get everything like down, whatever. And I was like, "Ah," like in the kitchen, like. (laughs) That's so unlucky. Think of how much more time is spent not on a ladder. Mm -hmm. And you were on a ladder when the earth begins to. That was, that was scary because it was like, it was a big one. Yes. First of all, thank God. Not to be confused with the big one. Yeah. But uh, the aftershock was was weird. Yeah. And then watching like uh, the pool like slosh back and forth. Yes. And there's like no one in it. Like so many waves in the ocean. Mm-hmm. It was very weird. It was very weird. But you know, there's something to deal with everywhere, isn't there? Mm-hmm. If you go to the Northeast, you'll find yourself in a hurricane situation now and again. Mm-hmm. If you go to the middle of the country, you got tomatoes. If you go to the south, man, it gets hot. Up north, cold. Yes. So there's like, you know, a little of everything for everyone. You got a little of everything. Yeah. And the hotter and more destructed the earth gets, we'll all be able to experience all of them no matter where we live. And that's kind of a unifying. Kind of like a pandy. Yeah, that's kind of, yes. Yes. Thank you, Zoya. You're welcome. That's the end of segment one. Yes. Yes.